So continuing on, well, not continuing on because I missed the day yesterday. I am sorry, guys. I had a lot going on yesterday. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do a double upload because I have to make up for yesterday. We're going to be talking about a STR LR UI Goku and a Evolution Blue Vegeta Dokkan Festival card. Now, within this document, there are a bunch of other custom cards. See if I have it on the other monitor. I do. Yeah, there are a bunch of other cards like he has a Beerus he has a LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku okay but anyways um go ahead and send me custom cards over to VHDF custom cards gmail.com so I can go ahead and review a custom card in the future uh while I'm getting all these older custom cards out the video I was scanning through some of the emails and I noticed that I'm almost to this year's custom card uh emails that's good that's really ah oh, man I Gotta pat myself on the back. Even though I missed yesterday, I'm still gonna make up for it by doing uh, this guy's custom card as well as someone else's custom card. So, uh, with that being said, uh, Sir, Siri? Shuri? I I'm sorry, I do, do not know how to say her name. I see Harry though, so, I mean, oh yeah, I'm just gonna say Harry, or, or there's like, there's this P right over there. Um, so, I'm just gonna call you P. <laughs> anyway, so he says, check this one, bro. Okay, so. Let me go ahead and just keep the original Dokkan wiki up just so we can uh, use that as a little reference. So we have a Evolution Blue Vegeta slash UI Goku card. Uh, let's just jump straight into it. So the leader skill is uh, Universe. What? Oh, okay. No, that's there. <laughs> it's so red. I couldn't tell. Yeah, like the red on top of the black. Yeah, that kind of messed me up a little bit. Okay, so the Super STR. Uh, Universe 7's Last Hope, LR Goku, Ultra Instinct Sign, and Vegeta, Evolution Blue. And their leader skill is Tournament Participants, or Reps Universe 7, 3, Key, and won 70% across the board. And their 30% of the stats is to Power Beyond Super Saiyan, or Join Forces, as well as Bond of Parent and Child. So I'm going to make a quick cut so we can go and see what these characters are on for these 200% leader skills. So at first glance, it doesn't look too bad i mean oh uh, well to be honest though what's carrying this category are the characters that are on reps universe 7 that being that tech lr ui goku both the six year easy a's you also have evo ken's easy a as well as golden freeze and 17's easy a str ui's easy a even though he doesn't dodge for some people uh <laughs> you do have them 17 and 18 with their dough contest but then i mean i mean kefla uh yeah we're looking pretty carried by uh reps universe 7 characters but it does make sense considering that they are a reps universe 7 lead okay uh let me just zoom in a little bit because it is a bit dark okay that's good that's good You'll, you guys will be able to see it okay nice it's not cutting off anything too all right man that red is like going nuts on my eyeballs right now okay so they're super attack for their 12 key uh cooperation between rivals they get 50 percent attack and defense for four turns and stack attack while doing colossal damage 50 percent attack and defense for four turns while stacking attack i think that's my first time ever seeing a card I, there's no way this is in vanilla dokkan where a card is getting attack slash defensive buff for multiple turns while stacking attack with it i i don't think i've ever seen this before and there's no way this is vanilla dogon like being able to stack attack while also getting a attack and defensive buff for a specific amount of turns this this is definitely new to me for sure this is definitely new to me and the 18 key super that being the gamma burst flash and kamehameha they get a hundred percent attack for two turns as well as greatly stacking defense while doing mega colossal damage to enemy while having a 50 percent chance to stun so a hundred percent attack for two turns as well as greatly stacking defense and stun chance on her 18 key and her 12 key which is pretty powerful 50 percent attack and defense for four turns while stacking attack so these are, this combination of super attack effects are pretty strong, certainly. Definitely because of the 18 key, they're greatly stacking defense. And then when you do their 12 key, which I'm going to assume this character is going to be doing multiple supers. I mean, th th this isn't a custom card video without a card doing a bajillion super attacks. There's no way. <laughs> Have you guys seen the Kid Buu card? I'm pretty sure you, you guys seen the Kid Buu. Um, 
I encourage you guys go check out what that kid boot card's looking like. He can do like 60 attacks in a turn. <laughs> Maybe like 45 additional supers. So their passive, that being universe's existence at stake, 250% attack and defense at the start of the turn. And they have a baseline 30% chance to dodge. And they also get three key per keys for obtain. That is a ridiculously high amount, which is good for them of course 159 percent attack and defense when performing a super attack okay so they're getting an attack and defense buff and not only are they getting an attack and defense buff in their passive but for their super attack effects they, these are some this is a strong combination of super attacks i gotta say that and for them to get 159 percent attack and defense when performing a super is that's great i mean come on now what else am i supposed to say Plus an additional 59% defense within a same turn after evading an attack, and a 50% chance of launching an additional super attack if HP is 59% or less at start of character's attacking turn, or if key is 18 or higher, which you're going to very easily get over 18 key because you're getting three key per key to obtain, and launches an additional super attack if key is 24, which should be very easy considering the fact that this is a TOP character, right? Um, where are the links? Let me go ahead and see. Uh, he didn't put links. Yeah, he didn't put links. Huh. I mean, but, I mean, Grancy, yeah, this is going to be a TOP character because they're tournament participants in Reps Universe 7 leader. Anyways, uh, they also, okay, after turn 5, 200% attack, more the key. <laughs> and this is not me saying this. It says more the key, higher the attack. So the more key you get, the higher the, their attack goes. So... Okay, and they have an unrestricted just 40% damage reduction, just flat. Okay, um, within there, oh, we're not even done. Oh, and they get a, a feather against all types after this character receives four more attacks in battle. Then, okay, then we're done with their passive. So, um, on the defensive end, they, had, they do have a 30% chance to dodge. That is rather low. That is rather low. So, they have a 30% chance to dodge with 40% damage reduction, just flat. Uh, and that's it, right? That's all they have defensively. Yeah, not including no stats buffs or anything. All they have is a 30% chance to dodge, as well as 40% damage reduction. Now, what they have on the offensive end, and, well, would I also say what they have on, like, the self-sufficient end? Because they are three key per key to obtain, which directly supports them being able to get their 50% chance of launching an additional super, as well as them being able to just do a guarantee super when you get to 24 keys. So three key per keys to obtain is, I keep hitting my mic for some reason. I'm sorry, guys. That is, that's helping them on the self-sufficient. And they're not, this card's not struggling for key. Let's just call a spade a spade. So yeah, on the offensive end, this card can do one guarantee super as well as have a additional super attack chance, which is obviously nice. And I mean, do we also count the stats buffs? I didn't count the stats buffs for the, the, the defensive side of their card, so we're not going to count that. So really, just they're just getting an additional super as well as a additional super attack chance and effective against all types. And if we look at what they're doing for their stats, I mean, 250% attack and defense baseline, nice. 159% attack and defense when performing a super attack, nice. 59% defense when, when they dodge an attack, granted they do because it's only a 30% chance to dodge. 59% defense just for free, nice. Uh, what's more stats buffs? 200% attack after the fifth turn. Nice. Uh, I didn't skip over anything else. No, I did not. <clears throat> and that's it. Yeah, that's it for the stats. Yeah, 200% attack, 59% defense, 159% attack and defense when performing a super, and 250% attack and defense at the start of turn. Uh, and then you look at their super attack effects. I mean, I mean, you, you, a, a kid can tell you that that's strong. Come on now. Let's be honest so this their uh standby skill awakening enter standby for six turns activation condition can be activated when hp is 50 percent or less starting from the fifth turn from the start of battle once only so fifth turn when hp is 50 percent or less okay and the standby that being ultra instinct goku uh 12 key uh perfect instinct 100 percent attack and defense for one turn of course that's that's great while doing colossal damage to enemy and their 18 key or his 18 key and that art does look dope by the way looks like something from the manga is that from the manga looks familiar looks familiar i might be going crazy and the 18 key that being the point blank kamehameha 100 percent attack and defense for one turn while doing mega colossal damage to enemy while doing a guaranteed crit okay nice so just 
great 12 and ATK super attack effects. And his passive, 200% attack and defense at the start of turn. Nice. 100% attack and defense for one turn. And oh, that's just by itself, by the way. And 100% attack and defense for two turns. And 100% attack and defense for three turns. And 100% attack and defense for four turns. And 100% attack and defense for five turns. So pretty much that's all going to stack up onto each other. So upon this character's first like turn of their standby, that's 200, basically at the start of turn. So then that would be 200. Then on top of that would be 300, 400, 500, uh, 600, and 700. Just on that first turn. And as you're you're going through turns with this character, he's losing 100% attack and defense. Just keeps losing and losing and losing it. Okay. All right. So just a free, uh, what's that? That's 200. You know, that's like 700% that's attack and defense because it's 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700. So yeah, just a free 700% attack and defense on his first turn. Bananas. Uh, evades enemies attacks. Oh, he has guaranteed dodge throughout the entire standby. Okay. Um, three keeper keys are obtained, so he kept that from the uh, the base form. 159% attack and defense when performing a super attack. Kept that from the base form. A feather against all types for free, so no restriction anymore. Uh, and a 50% chance of launching an additional super if key is 18 or more. So he loses one restriction from his uh, base form just to have that when he's above 18 key or more. What's getting me is that guaranteed dodge, by the way, for the, just within those six turns of standby. I mean, just take a look at that. It's six turns. And launches an additional super at 24 key. Cover charges. Cover charge reduces the damage received by self and by allies by 59%. Why would he need damage reduction for himself if he's not taking hits? He has guaranteed dodge. He has guaranteed dodge. Right. <laughs> he, he doesn't need that. He doesn't need that damage reduction. He has a 100% chance to dodge. So that's that by itself is worthless. But this free 59% damage reduction is... He has a, a cup. Are we playing Legends? Cover charges? He has a cover... Like a cover chain? No, we stop. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, cover charge, uh, fifty nine percent damage reduction for allies. That's great, obviously. Um, so uh, seven hundred percent attack and defense on that first turn with guaranteed dodge throughout each every in every turn of this guy being in a standby. Three keeper keys to obtain an attack and defensive buff from his pass to a super attack effect. A feather against all types for free. Additional super attack chance when you're above eighteen key or more, and a guaranteed super at twenty four key while giving fifty nine percent damage reduction on allies. I've seen enough. That's going to be about it. I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. Uh, I don't know how to say your name. I'm sorry. But thank you for sending me your card. Um, send me cards to bhdevcustomcards at gmail.com. Man, that. what can I say? Uh, I will say um, this category is definitely carried by these recent Reps Universe 7 EZAs. For sure. Uh, base form looks good, I would say. Um... And then post transformation is strong. This is a strong, not even post transformation. My bad. Post standby. Post standby is looking strong. Absolutely. Oh, I forgot to mention guarantee crit on his 18 key super. My bad. Anyways, uh, but yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. Uh, do I have anything I want to say? Join the 24 7 Discord server. Uh, that's gonna be all. I'll catch you guys next week. I absolutely love you all. The Discord server link is down below in the description for you to join. Hey, pull up and come say hi. Peace.